Hey guys, Brandon Willem with CCM Magazine, and today we've got a, a variety of guests with us. We've got Jay DeMarcus of Red Street Records and Rascal Flats. We've got Jason Crabb, and right there between the two boys, we've got Natalie, Natalie Decker, uh, NASCAR race car driver. And uh, if you're wondering why these three are together today, it's because they just announced something really cool. Uh, these three coming together to uh, sp be the first Christian record label to sponsor a race car or a major sports team or anything like that. Uh, so, Jay, tell us how this uh, sponsorship came about. Well, I have a really good friend, a uh, mutual friend of Natalie and my, is that right? <laughs> Natalie and my, Matt, Natalie and I. Um, anyway, we have a mutual <laughs> friend named Todd D. Benedetto from Chicago, and we've done several things, several business ventures together, and he said, I have a unique opportunity I think you may be interested in for Red Street. And he told me about Natalie. Of course, I had already known about her because she'd been making noise on the circuit for a while, and I knew she was up and coming. I dove in and did a little research on her Wikipedia page, and really, 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 uh, on page uh, on the page, I just really loved what she was all about. So we scheduled a Zoom call. Todd connected us, uh, and I was immediately taken with her. Her personality, her spirit. Uh, just jumped off of the screen. She is so driven and so determined, and I feel like is a wonderful role model, not just for young ladies uh, wanting to get into the sport, but for, for people everywhere. And her tenacity is really, really palpable when you're around her. And it was just a no-brainer for me. I love uh, being a part of helping people achieve their dreams and their goals, and it just made perfect sense for us, and I'm so proud of my partnership with, with Decker Racing. So this is going to be a race car that's just covered in Red Street uh, decals, and the hood is going to have an artist on there, and the first hood is going to be Mr. Jason Crabb there. And uh, Jason, been a big couple weeks for you. Just a few weeks ago, you had a uh, mill named after you here in our hometown of Hendersonville, and now you're on a race car hood. 2021 is looking pretty good, right? Man, I'm telling you, I'm just I'm, I'm so thankful, uh, so excited about uh, this journey with Red Street and Jay. Uh, we've been friends for a, a while now and, and enjoyed working together and, and uh, making music together. Uh, we honor each other's uh, call and, and gifting. And so it's a, it's a, good, it's a good relationship. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about this new record. He is allowing me to get to uh, do something that I've always wanted to do and, and felt called to and always wanted to is to step out you know in, in uh, ccm music and, and i'm just really really thankful for that opportunity and thankful that people are listening and and are giving a shot and um, so to be to be a part of, of uh, natalie's car i mean i'm just blown away this this girl she's amazing she really is uh she is a star period she, God has handpicked her uh, for this moment, just like as Jay uh, for this moment. God has handpicked Natalie for this moment. There's going to be a lot of eyes on her. A lot of young people is going to, uh, you know, be wearing her T-shirts and and uh, and have her posters up on the wall, you know. And when they hear her talk and hear her heart and see her smile, uh, all the moms and dads out there are going to be very, very proud. So what kind of thoughts did you have when Jay came, comes to you and says, hey, man, we're going to put your face on the hood of a NASCAR? Did you think he was being serious? Well, you know, it was a surprise today because I had no clue that I was going to be on it at all. I thought that Red Street had wrapped a car. I was a part of the sponsorship. And I, I came to help or to be a part of the, you know, the unveiling of that and to be here and represent the label. When they, when these two pulled the, you know, the sheet off the car, there was my face on the front of the hood, and I was like, I, at first I thought they're they're teasing me. You did a great job. You know what I mean? I thought that they were teasing, <laughs> and uh, and it was funny because Cambria said this too because I put my hand down on the car and I was like, I, I was like, that's that's, and then I got teared up. Uh, because, you know, I'm from a small town in Beaverdam, Kentucky. I've been doing this for a minute, but I never even thought about anything like this. And for Jay and Natalie to give me this opportunity, 
I'm very, very thankful. And thank you for honoring me with that opportunity. It's my pleasure. Believing in me. So I appreciate it. It's just a small piece of the puzzle to let the world know about Jason and what he's been up to. Um, my, my sole desire here with Jason's new music is to really, really encourage people that if you think you know who Jason Crabb is, you probably don't. Jason's greatest blessing is in a lot of ways his biggest curse because he can do anything. He can sing anything. He can sing any style. He can do gospel. He can do bluegrass. He can do country. Uh, he can do CCM. And I think a lot of people have preconceived notions about what to expect from him. I've really been trying to spread the word and encourage people. Uh, in the CCM world to take a listen to this new single because I can promise you it's a different side of Jason that you haven't seen before. And this is all part of the, the game plan to let the world know uh, what an incredible artist and man Jason Crabb is. So Natalie, you've been teasing your plans for uh, the past couple of weeks. You finally get to say what you're doing. Uh, you've been involved in the truck series past couple of years. Now moving over to the Xfinity series. What makes having these guys on that car so special? It this just means the world to me, and I feel so loved and so thankful that this opportunity became about, and we're here sitting talking to you now about our 2021 plans. Um, this has been a secret for a while now, and I'm so excited that Red Street Records is going to be a part of these five races that I'm doing in Xfinity, which is so crazy to say that I'm moving up a level and we're going to be in the Xfinity series. And I'm just so excited to really have him on the hood of the car and have everyone see this and they're just going to love it. And I'm so excited to be a part of this. And I'm so thankful that we have that mutual friend that brought us all together and really made this all happen. Absolutely. Obviously one of the younger drivers uh, in NASCAR, take us through how you made it to uh, this NASCAR series at such a young age. So my dad and his brothers and my aunt, everyone raced snowmobiles. And I came from a snowmobile racing family. And I loved it. I loved the motorsports world. But I wasn't really too into racing the snowmobiles. I knew I wanted to do something in the motorsports industry. And once I really learned about NASCAR, I was like, Dad, that's what I want to do. Dad, please help me be able to make this goal of mine and be a NASCAR driver. And you know, he didn't take it seriously for a while, but for my ninth birthday, he got me a go-kart and said, okay, we're gonna do this, this is how we start. And we slowly been climbing the ladder in the racing industry. And it's so crazy to say, like we are here, we are racing in NASCAR now, and wow. we are at the second highest level, and we're almost to the highest level. It's amazing. So is there gonna be any uh, appearances together with the Red Street artist and uh, Natalie other than this? Paul here. Yeah, we're working on some things right now. We've got some uh, things in the in the works that we've been talking to her about. She uh, she's going to be in Nashville, so we're going to try to coordinate some things around uh, that race and her appearance there. So I may take her over to the Vanderbilt Children's Hospital and let those kids see the car and let her walk around the room some and see um, some of the work that I've been so passionate about for the last uh, eighteen years of the Flats career. So. Um, I, I want everybody to know everything about Natalie. I think she's a, a bright light and yeah. is going to be a wonderful influence for our youth. And more importantly, you know, her character is as solid as her uh, racing is. So that's really important for me, too, is to be aligned with somebody whose values line up for what we're trying to do at Red Street Records, too. Maybe while she's in town, you can get her in a studio with Jason and they can do a song together, too. Hey, we, we already look like a band. I know. I right? feel like we should be like doing a record together. I can't sing. <laughs> no, yes, she can. Let's try. It. Go no, ahead. no, no, no. Come on, tell you no <laughs> My is a highway. Come on, say. Hey, all you have to do is just kind of, you know, all you have to do is just do that. I have to race time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Give me the video. Hey, you say we'll draw the we'll have the little poorly uh, hanging up the window. Oh, man. So after all this is done, does uh, Jason get to hang this hood on his wall with all of his other awards? I'll tell you what, I'd pay for this this one for sure. We can just take the hood right off. Yeah. You know, those are detachable, right? Yes. We can take it right off and I hang think you it, should up. Hang it up on your wall. I would absolutely love that. That would be cool. Gary has our wrecked hood on the wall of his garage. Does he? <laughs> yes, he does. That'd be awesome. Hey. 
I'll, yes, I'll buy that. All right, guys, you can look for the uh, car with Jason Krabs face on it on national TV. It'll be on FS1 with the Beef It's What's for Dinner 300. It's going to be on uh, Saturday the 20th, so be looking for that. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you, Thank you so much.